Hey guys, welcome back to the Shadow Realm. Thank you for joining me, Red Hunya, here for another dinosaur related review. After reviewing the Redstone dinosaur cards, I figured, what the heck, let's just keep on going. Uh, this was another dinosaur card set I collected as a child. And I never had it complete as a kid, so I went and bought a box. This was a while ago, this wasn't recently, so this is like an old box I bought, I think back some point in high school, or at some point, I don't remember exactly when I bought this box. I was missing a few cards, so I bought the box to get some packs. And this is the dinosaur card set, the original dino cards with a Z. Oh yeah, this is a pretty sweet box. It's got a lot of different dinosaurs silhouettes here in the background. Really nice. Some cards here on the front. The authentic dinosaur trading cards approved for accuracy by the Dinosaur Society. The Dinosaur Society. Wait a second. No flipping way. The Dinosaur Society. Oh man, they made these trading cards or approved these trading cards or something. They had something to do with it because the logo stamp is right there too. The Dinosaur Society. I love that encyclopedia, even though it's extremely, extremely out of date now here. But in the early 90s, that encyclopedia was the boss. This Series 1 set, sadly again here, this was a Series 1 set. They didn't ever make a Series 2. Kind of depressing, but... Series 1 includes headset, family tree puzzle, and facts and finds, dino trivia subset, collect them all. Uh, nothing on the back, it's just blank. Authentic dinosaur trading cards. I love how the set was spelled with a Z. This set was from 1992, the Dinosaur Cards Company, North Avenue, San Francisco. Really awesome. So this, these folds out. And then you got your big display piece here for when it's in the store, people can come up and buy packs. I'm not gonna be doing pack openings, cause like I said, I have the whole set, but this is what some of the packs look like. I have a few extras here. I think I have like nine or 10 unopened packs here. No need to open them since I already have a complete set and double cards here. Double cards, get out there, get out there. But yeah, here's what the packs look like. Really awesome. It's got a T-Rex on the front, the original dino cards. Got like a plant, 10 cards per pack. Fantastic, action-packed, full-color picture trading cards of dinosaurs and other prehistoric beasts. You know these cards are sweet. 1992. 1992, one year before Jurassic Park, the Dinosaur Society, approved by the Dinosaur Society. Get odd eye with dinosaurs. So yeah, that's what the packs look like. Really neat looking packs. I always loved the T-Rex here on the front goes in there. Really nice that this set included a checklist. The other redstone set didn't include a checklist, so this card set goes up to 80 cards. Considerably larger than the last set we looked at. The redstone set only went up to 50. So this set has another 30 different cards in it. Collapse this down, and yeah, let me get my binder, and let's take a look at this set! All right, so pardon the shaky cam. I'm holding this with my hand just so I don't have to keep moving my other things sideways. But let's get this going here. Card number one is Tyrannosaurus. The artwork from the package on the, the packs you open up. Really cool, really cool. And then we have Styracosaurus. Sweet, sweet artwork. Mamancantrosaurus. Really cool artwork. It's got a rainbow in the background and looks like they're walking across like a beach. Dilophosaurus. And also, some Spinosaurus fans may like this. Concerning this set was from 1992. Spinosaurus is here as a card. Not the walking on all fours, but even still, really cool that he made an appearance in this set way well before Jurassic Park 3 even came out. This was 1992. We got Pteranodon. The Flying Giant. This is a Quetzalcoatlus card, I believe. It just has a World War II fighter plane for a size comparison on how big Quetzalcoatlus was, or to give you somewhat of an idea. Iguanodon. Centrosaurus. Artwork on these is. I don't know, I think I like the artwork on these ones slightly better than the redstone dinosaur set we looked at. And here on the back, I'm not going to go too much on the back of every single card, but it gives you 
the name, how to pronounce it, information about said dinosaur class, and statistics about it. When it lived, what it ate, how big it was, and yeah. Pretty cool. All the cards have it. And a number in the top corner. A palm tree. Showing you which one it is. Let's continue on here. Oh dear god, do forgive me if I butcher some of these dinosaurs' names like I did before in the other video. Eupacaria? Eupacaria? Almost looks like a postosuchus from Walking with Dinosaurs. Oh, and it's not going to get any easier here. Ooh. Desmatosuchus? Desmatosuchus? <laughs> oh god, at least I'm making an attempt. <laughs> I mean, I could look up how to pronounce these things online, but I think it's makes more for a more funny video, me trying to pronounce some of these names that I don't 100% know. But Protoceratops is the next one. Cool artwork. But yeah, like I said, I think the artwork on these cards rival the Redstone set, or are slightly better than the Redstone set. Ov Raptor. Cuckoo. Oh goddamn. Shentungosaurus. Shentungosaurus. <laughs> cool, cool. Here's an old friend from the Papo line, Pachyrhinosaurus. Really nice, really nice. And here we actually have Quetzalcoatlus as a card. Flying in the skies, Quetzalcoatlus. Saltosaurus. Really cool. I tried looking stuff up about this set online, but just like the Redstone set, there's not much information about this card set online anywhere. Except like the card checklist, but like other than that, there's like not much else about this set. Platiosaurus. Not much else about this set. That's kind of why I want to do a video review. I don't think anyone else on YouTube has done a video review of these cards. Considering there's not much information on them anyway online. Chronosaurus. Kentrosaurus, a lot of the has a lot of the same dinosaurs too from the other set, and then some. <laughs> Dromeosauromimus, <laughs> Artheonicomimus, <laughs> Dromeosauromimus, Dromeosauromimus. Mm. I tried, I tried. Oh, uh, I don't know how. This is a tough one. Ah, uh, didn't this? Yeah, this is like one of those weird ones that isn't an actual dinosaur. It's just an underwater sea monster. I'm pretty sure this thing appeared in the Jurassic Park Builder game in the sea underwater sea section. I do believe it's been a while since I've played that game though, but I do believe he appeared in that game. Leptoceratops, Leptoceratops. That's nice. Plesiosaurus. Sauropoleta. Sauropoleta. Some dinosaurs' names, do you like? I know I've said it in the last video and I'm saying it here again. Good old Baryonyx. Really nice picture here. Him in the swamp land eating a fish. And I just love how this dinosaur appears here. In this set as well, Carnotaurus. I love the artwork on this set a lot more than the Redstone set. This is a really cool Carnotaurus image. Really nice. Card number 27. Stegosaurus. Oh, and everyone, all the Jurassic Park Series 1 and 2 fans should know this guy and Lost World exclusive set. It's Estamenosuchus. Really cool that this card appeared here in this set, even before appearing in the Jurassic Park toy line. What would have been like, oh, it's, it would have been a while, because this guy didn't actually get released for Series 2. He was first released and only released in the Lost World line as an exclusive. But either way, the fact this set was from 1992 when Estimate appeared is really nice. Edelophosaurus. Edelophosaurus. Weird, almost looks like a Dimetrodon. Oh, well, never mind. Here's Dimetrodon really like the artwork they did here on this one on its face 
Coelophysis. Moving right along. Baby sauropod. <laughs> this one. The water chase. <laughs> Swimming dinosaurs. Oh no! As if dinosaurs on land weren't scary enough. Patasaurus. Allosaurus. That's more like it. The other redstone set had like an Allosaurus picture and then said it was a Carnotaurus, but there we go. That's a sweet Allosaurus image. Artwork. Patasaurus. I do believe this dinosaur here, or this prehistoric beast, appeared in the Walking with Dinosaurs original series from BBC. Eryops. Eryops. I. Again, do forgive me if I'm not pronouncing all these correctly. Do forgive me. Myasaurus. This is another one of my favorite images here from the set. Ceratosaurus. Really cool. Hex guard. Aleoramus. Aleoramus. This is another really nice one. I like the artwork here for Triceratops. Really cool. And this one, this is another cool one. This set had a lot of really cool cards too. Megalosaurus. Brachiosaurus. Oh man, this is going to be a mouthful. Elophocephalus. Here's the next card. I'm not sure if I said that right either. Elophocephalus. Sterichosaurus. Sterichosaurus. Love the artwork. Also love how this guy appeared here in the card set also. Tanstrophius. Tanstrophius also appeared here in the card set, really awesome, from 1992, before even appearing in the Dress Park Series 2 line, 1994. Next we have the Comp Sognathus card, a uh, Compy. Really great that this card appeared here. Deinonychus. Stenochirosaurus. Stenochirosaurus. Parasaurolophus. Nice artwork there in a marshland. Eating some plants. Just another prehistoric beast card here. Dio Retrama. Dio Retrama. Diutrema. Diutrema. Chasmosaurus. Largest skull. It just has a kid sitting on Triceratops' skull. Damn, that's that's crazy. Crazy isn't just size comparison wise, like damn. Damn. Same here, just another size comparison card. You have a little human, really tiny human, a modern day elephant, modern day whale, and then just some few dinosaurs thrown in for size scale, and holy crap, they're huge. Theresezanosaurus. It just has like his claw. Here's another card, the Terrible Claw, Velociraptor. This next card just shows like skin patterns, dinosaur skin, diff just different types of dinosaur skin, what they may have looked like, A, B, and C. This is just another insert card, just saying like, thank you for purchasing dinosaur cards, blah, blah, blah. You can call this number, and this was the artist. Dave Mars, who did most of the art for the set, is taken. Checklist card. This is the headset family tree puzzle sequence, how you can put them together. Because uh, here's what we're getting into, the headset cards. I'm not going to pronounce any of these, I'm just going to show you all of them. It's all different heads for these dinosaurs. These were like towards the end of the set. Herrerasaurus. Play 
video source. Campstosaurus. Campstosaurus. Dilophosaurus. Ceratosaurus, really cool how the Ceratosaurus head matches like the other card from the set. Same here with the Allosaurus. Diplodocus. Camerasaurus. Brachiosaurus. And another large sauropod dinosaur, I'm not sure how to pronounce correctly. <laughs> cool here too, Carnotaurus. That the card head here matches the card of the card from the set Baryonyx Corythosaurus Lambiosaurus and goddamn another one Let's see how it even says to No oh, it doesn't even like give you on the back of this one Oh yeah and on the back of all the skull cards as if it wouldn't be deadly obvious. It has images of all the skulls in bone form and not the artwork form. But yeah, not positive how you pronounce that one correctly, so I'm not going to try, so everyone will laugh at me. Parasaurolophus. And the final card here in the set is the Tyrannosaurus skull. And that's it. And then it goes on to Dinosaur's Attack. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the whole set of 80 cards here for the official... Dino cards with a Z from 1992 and approved by the Dinosaur Society, so you know it's good. I highly recommend this set to any dinosaur fans out there that just love dinosaur trading cards for whatever reason. Uh, my binder is filled with stuff from Dinosaurs Attack to Jurassic Park to just random cards like these. So give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this or if you have this set or if you knew about this set as a kid or if you just know about this set in general because like I said I tried looking stuff up online and there's not much out there on the interwebs about this trading card set for whatever reasons but it's pretty good uh, I'd, I'd say I enjoy this set slightly more than the redstone set because the artwork on these ones just looks slightly more not realistic they just look cooler and plus the card set has like another 30 cards compared to the redstone set, which only had 50. So yeah, subscribe for more Red Honey reviews. Tune in next week. I'll be going back to some Jurassic Park toys. I just wanted to do another card set review here just because I did the redstone set. And I was like, you know what? I kind of want to talk about this set too. So yeah, tune in next week. I'll be going back to some Jurassic Park 3 toys. But until then, Red Honey signing out. Take care, everyone. And check this card set out if you come across it or if you find it anywhere. It's a good time.